Wilson. I'm at Search Engine Strategies in London with my friend Jim Stern, who is uh, all things analytical. And <laughs> we're, we've been talking about how uh, the web allows us to measure the effectiveness of all kinds of media. Uh, what are some examples of that, Jim? Well, my website is so ultimately measurable that if I put an ad in the newspaper, and then next week I run an ad on the radio, and the next week I do a direct mail piece, I'll be able to measure the difference of traffic to my website from one week to the next. And in the newspaper ad, I can put, here's a special offer, go to my website slash newspaper offer. Mm -hmm. On the radio, I can say, go to my website slash radio offer. And I can look and see how many people go to which ones that'll tell me whether or not my advertising spend has been worthwhile. This is if you use the web as the place that they, they're going to contact you primarily, or you get spin off from other kinds of promotions too. You're, well, you, whenever you do advertising, you want to make sure that you've got a phone number in there and your, if you're a retail store, your location, all of that stuff. But people are going to go to the internet. If I see an ad and I'm curious, before I'm going to get in the car and go down there, I'm going to go to the web and check it out. Now, yes, there are exceptions to everything. If you are a shoe shine, shoe repair shop, chances are I know what you do and I'll just go to the store and, and this doesn't apply. But if you are selling anything that requires a modicum of investigation, mm -hmm. I'm going to look on the web first. Research. You're going to be able to see the impact that your ad has had on the number of people who do which kinds of research on your website. Now, now let me ask you a question. Let's say you have a newspaper ad, something something slash newspaper one. Mm -hmm. Are people actually going to put type in slash newspaper one, or do they just get if, get cute on you? Well, there's there's two parts. Short. Part one is if the offer is good enough, you know, you can get five percent off if you go to this particular page. I see. Who cares? We well, can get fifteen percent off. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to type carefully. Okay, that's okay. part one. Part two is I don't even need to put a special page because I don't have to look that closely. I can look in general that you know what I ran that ad. <clears throat> I didn't see a significant difference in what happened okay. on my website. I read that ad, oh, I got 10% more people show up at my website. I ran the ad and the radio spot at the same time, I had 20% more people show up. And I can keep doing those kinds of tests and eventually determine that maybe newspaper or maybe radio is really the place to spend my next dollar or maybe the combination is really the, the killer combo that makes it work. So the so what question for a small to medium business then is, this really tells me what? It tells me if my marketing money is well spent and where to spend it again. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for talking with me about this. Tell me about uh, your business, this conference you're promoting and uh, what you do. I do internet marketing strategy consulting for large businesses. So, um, you know, small business, uh, they already know what business they're in. Large business are very confused and need help. <laughs> um, the conference is how to measure the success of your website. The name it's of the conference? called the eMetrics Marketing Optimization Summit. Uh, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., London, Toronto, Munich, and Stockholm at Whoa. various times. So, <laughs> eMetrics.org. You're a long way from Santa Barbara, Dorothy. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> Yeah, at least I still got the red shoes on. Well, that's exciting. Thank you much for sharing with us today. Thanks for having me. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. <laughs>